Now, I don't, I don't think I can see anything right now in, in aspects of that, but um, yeah. Growing every day, um, it's building bu building blocks. Yes, building blocks, um, and just keep on stacking it every day, and keep on trying to improve and get better with nine. Have you noticed though, maybe like his confidence improved, maybe in the huddle when it comes to play call, anything? Dude's always confident. He's always confident, so I never see that fall or rise too high. Um, and he keeps a level head at it, so I think he's just doing a good job. Where can you take your game? I know it's just OTAs, but what are you working on specifically to as you get ready for training camp? Everything and anything I could possibly get my hands on, or just anything I could learn to, to make me better, make the team better. Um, yeah, so I'll probably say all aspects of the game. What do you think of Bijan and just kind of like the, the versatility that he brings down to this offense? You, we see him with the receivers, we mm -hmm. see him with the running backs. Yeah, I think it's really cool um, for him to be in that spot and just to be that versatile is really cool to see an athlete like that, you know? Um, and like, again, we're just excited to see him and keep on seeing him improve. Personally, my favorite part of practice is watching TJ yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry that it's my favorite, but I love it. Was that something that you kind of wanted him to do, or was that something that he came to you and was like, hey, I'm just going to hit you as hard as I can? Yeah, I think it was he wanted to take some anger out on me. <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing. Um, no, I think, uh, you know, I had a couple hiccups last year. Um, so ball security has been a big thing. I don't do special teams, so uh, I get my extra work in with him. Um, and we do extra things like uh, right at the catch point, you know, punching out, things like that, ball security. So uh, just emphasizing the little things. Now, how hard is he hitting you? Is he fully, it looks like he's going like fully 110%, but is he really? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard, hard enough to knock the ball out, but not <laughs> knock my wind out, you know? Yeah, I won't, I won't lose no breath, yeah. Okay. Staying on that for a second, um, was it your idea to kind of utilize your time in that way doing special teams? Well, well we always we always utilize that time since last year towards the end of the year when I was in our special teams to kind of just work on stuff, work on catching and things like that. Mm -hmm. And now we have a base of where I'm at and, and where I was last year, things I can work on. So he just came to me and was like, here, I got a pad, put the ball in your hands and and then he just started, <laughs> you know, and the rest is history. So okay, that, that kind of brings me to the first year, second year point, And we talked about how now it's a big breath of fresh air for you. Mm -hmm. But how do you personally measure increments of growth at this point in the year for you? Uh, it's kind of hard right now. It's, mm -hmm. it's OTAs, you know. So, I mean, all I can do is, is, is work on me and work on my craft. Um, and I think that's what I'm doing right now. I feel like I'm getting better, but, I mean, that's up. That's when I get between the white lines. That's when it's going to really show. It does seem like there's so much energy in this practice, especially when you guys are going through a red zone. How much do you feed off of that and enjoy that? I love it. Um, I think that goes back to the youth of the team. You know, everybody's amped to be out here and just to be playing football. Um, and I think that's what we need back in this building. And and we got it. Yeah. How much better do you think it'll make you now? We have AJ and Jeff Okuda both Shh. out there. I love it. It's competition every day. I don't know if I'm going to get a ball today or I'm going to get a ball in the next week, you know. So it's like it's just competition, and it's only going to make me better. So uh, I'm really excited to have those guys on the on the opposite end of me. Yeah. Talking a bit more about Jeff Okuda, kind of was matched up with him a couple times today, and mm -hmm. it, it was a fun matchup to watch. But when it comes to him specifically, how does he, I guess, maneuver in a way that, that's intriguing as a corner for you? What do you mean? Can you dive Yeah, in? just like how he handles himself in like one-on-one -on -one situations and, mm -hmm. and how he carries himself is, I guess, what I mean. I would say AJ and, and Jeff are kind of almost the same in the okay. way, like kind of like play style, I would say. Um, but the way they carry themselves, you know, they're going to want to beat you up and they're going to want to make it known that like they locked you down, you know. So um, I love going against them. And it's like I said, it's iron, iron sharp and iron. So it's only making me better and them better, too. I hope so. Thank you. I was yeah. trying to figure out how I was saying that. <laughs> I kind of know when Bud was saying that um, Dez has become kind of like a smack talker, and Dez admits, like, yeah, I am one because I know the place. What do you see from him? Do you hear some of that? Do you join in on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, of course, I, mean, I got it back on my guy. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he's definitely uh, – he got a mouth to him sometimes when, when he wants to. Um, Coach hit on that a little bit after practice, which is funny. But, um, no, I mean, that's just a competitor, and I mean, who he is as a person, you know. When a coach hits on it, is he saying like that's like good, bad, or pointing out some of the things, or like 
It's competition at the end of the day. That's what he said. So if, if you got it and you can back it up, why not do it? Is he a trash talker before or after the play? A little bit of both. I mean, both. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so come in here, you know, obviously try to be the first one, whatever, maybe get in here early, uh, get in the tubs, get treatment, um, and then go up, meet with uh, either Coach Kramer or Coach Rags, you know, go over some things, go over the day's script, you know, meet with the receivers, the skill position, go over the day's practice before. Uh, then we get into meetings, get into meetings, lifting, uh, grab some lunch, come out here and have a good day. Being first in is important to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, just putting in that work. You know, it doesn't matter really whether you're first in or last out. Um, it, it's all about being efficient. Um, that's one thing I learned last year uh, was, you know, you don't have to spend 24 hours here. You don't have to spend 18 hours here. But if you do it efficiently, you can find the right times, you know, to be. Some people are morning people. Some people are night people. Some people don't want to come in until two minutes before the meeting. Some people will stay five hours after the meeting. Uh, so for me, just to get up, get early, knock it out, get everything that you need done, and then, you know, go to work. How do you personally measure your own growth this time of year? Yeah, I think it's just naturally just every day, just making sure that you're not making the same mistakes twice, making sure that you're progressing every single day and getting better. Um, you know, it's not something that you have to go out there and, okay, I had you know, six completions this day and I had a pick today and, a, a, you know, an incompletion yesterday, more so rather than, okay, were your footwork the same on, on this rep as it was this rep yesterday? You know, did you make this mistake again that you didn't do yesterday? And so it's just different things like that rather than physical. It seemed like there was a lot of energy out there today, which I know you really enjoy. I mean, describe kind of what the atmosphere has been like so far. Yeah, it's been fun. It's just been a whole bunch of competition, obviously, on both sides of the ball. Today was obviously, you know, one of our, our red zone days. So to get out there, obviously, a little tighter in the end zone. You see points on the board. The energy is automatically going to be amped up. Um, so for us, it was obviously fun to just get out there, compete, um, and just have fun with it. I don't know if anyone's asked you about him, but Slade Bolden was kind of flying out there mm -hmm. today. How much fun is it to watch him be in a lot of different roles? Oh, it was fun. Uh, you know, one of his first comments to me was, hey, do you remember me? And I said, yeah, well, of course I remember you from when we played Alabama. So, uh, no, but he, he's been a great guy. I've been coming in, a uh, hard worker, uh, been able to learn really quickly, pick up the offense. Um, and, you know, obviously he's been in the, the league for a year. So, um, you know, he's not just a rookie. He's got, you know, a little bit under his belt. So he knows, you know, how things are supposed to be, uh, the way he works, you know, not only off the field, but in the, in the building as well. Um, you know, he's doing a tremendous job. Also, a guy like Scotty over there, what can he do to the receiver group? Uh, Scotty is, is one of those guys who's versatile as well. You know, Scotty, you can put him anywhere you want, and, you know, he's going to get the job done. Uh, for us, you know, he's just been huge for us, uh, been able to get open, make plays, um, and then make plays with the ball in your hand. You know, that's what we're looking to see once you get the ball is what do you do with it. Um, and he's one of those guys that we know can be explosive after the catch. Since we're talking about some individuals, I think it's really interesting to see John Fitzpatrick out there. Like, mm -hmm. kind of Yeah, um, obviously, you know, you guys have seen or whatever, but he's been working his butt off out here. Uh, he comes out every single day, and obviously, you know, Kyle's down. Uh, you know, we kind of got some, uh, a couple other injuries in, in that room, so it's been able his role to step up and, and be that guy to fill in for him, um, and he's done a tremendous job at that. Uh, you know, we talk all the time, like you said, good friends. Just keep going every single day. Let's just keep working to get better. Like I said, for all of us, you know, it doesn't stop today. It doesn't stop tomorrow, but every single day, just keep building, and that's something he's done. What did you see from him in, I guess, like last year when he's not able to play, he's not able to go out there and do all the things that he wanted to do? How is he still able to kind of like stay up to date on, on even what y'all were doing out there? It's his mentals. Um, his mentals is where he's at because, you know, he, you know, like you said, he was injured a lot of last year, so he wasn't, you know, just doing whatever and not, not locked in. He was locked in the entire time. You know, he knew the game plan inside and out. He knows the game plan now. So then, obviously, you come out here and you see, and he's playing with speed. Um, and obviously a 6-7 playing with speed, that's a difficult combo to cover. Um, and that's what you guys have seen. And so he's just done a great job this offseason of just working, you know, his butt off and, and understanding the playbook and it's obviously showing up. I'm curious, um, it's, it's June and obviously we've got several months to go before the season starts, but do you feel a sense of urgency if I've got to, you know, stack the days and, and make sure I'm getting the most out of every yeah, you know, there's, you know, with all of us, we can't take a single day, a single minute, a single hour for granted. Um, and so, you know, we know in this game that it can all be gone just like that one play. Um, and so for us, you know, the, there's time, but there's also not a lot of time. Um, so, you know, like I said earlier, we got to be efficient in what we're doing. We got to work smarter, not harder. 
Um, and so that's something that we obviously try to do. Coach Art does a great job of getting us in, getting us out, putting in that work, and uh, you know that's something that we're going to continue to do. We keep talking about the versatility of this offense, and we talked about it on paper as things were changing in the offseason. But now that you've been able to see it, do you have moments like, dang, there's a lot of versatility on this offense? Yeah, you know, obviously that's something we try to do is, is you know, confuse defenses. Um, and so, you know, just being able to put guys in different places, uh, being able to, you know, do everything that we do, you know, it's going to help us out in the long run. I've been trying to focus on um, my body and getting little things right, um, you know, with doing yoga and little stuff still. So just been focusing on the main things with uh, off the field, you know, nothing really on the field, but off the field mainly focusing on. And all the new guys, Jesse, Jeff, uh, specifically Jeff um, and Mikey, um, and what kind of uh, secondary can y'all build this off season going into training camp, mini camp next week? Yeah, you know, it start right here. You know, we just building the chemistry, laying down the foundation right now with the back end and as a defense as a whole. So um, it could be special, you know, mm -hmm. it all look good on paper, but we just got to, uh, you know, do the right things, you know, on and off the field and uh, in the film room and apply it to the field. And uh, Coach Gray said, you know, both of you all were drafted very high and, um, you know, their goal is to blend it together. So, you know, there's no one person that, you know, um, that you got a tandem and there's no one person. Uh, how's that work coming along so far? Uh, like you said, you know, just me and Jeff both coming in together. So, you know, it's really fun having somebody that you, you know, went through the whole process with and be able to, you know, team up and uh, apply the work that we've been putting in together. So, you know, we just, you know, like I said, take it one day at a time, just, you know, get down to basics and uh, it all take care of itself. And do y'all um, know each other? I know that you think y'all might have played against, not against each other, but the school did. Yep. And then at the combine, I know how those groups hang together. Did y'all have a relationship from there? Uh, yeah, we had a relationship. I, I'm, You know, at the combine, you'd be so locked in on, mm -hmm. you know, trying to do everything the right way. Uh, it wasn't too much, you know, talking and all that, but, you know, we, we definitely respected each other's game. And, um, you know, now we're here on the big stage together, so now we, you know, can build our relationship even more and go out there and just handle business together. AJ, you talked about the chemistry. It does seem when you guys are all together that you yep. have a really good relationship so far. Yep. Describe what that's like. It looks like you're having a lot of fun as a group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the main, you know, just got to have some fun. And uh, it's new faces every year, so... Uh, just taking advantage of what we have and um, just building a relationship with not just the, the back end, but with everybody. You know, we got a lot of additions to the defense. So just trying to, like I said, build that chemistry early on going into camp and uh, just be ready to go. What do you like about Ryan Nielsen's coaching style and also just what he brings to the table defensively? Uh, a lot of energy, you know, um, he demands excellence as well. So, you know, very detailed and like this is his first year coaching defense as well, so um, it's it's fun right now. You know, everybody just having fun with you know with the basics and coming out here every day and just locking in on the fundamentals and you know just playing fast eventually. What is it like having a coach like that who like with the defensive line he gets like right in there and yeah. they say he has like crazy eyes. He's got like yeah. just really fiery it almost, kind of personality. Yeah, it almost remind me of Coach uh, Venables at Clemson, my DC. Um, so I'm kind of used to it. You know, I like. You know how he um, draws. He wants the best out of everybody. So, um, you know, it's, it's 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 real fun playing with somebody like that that care and love the game and um, you just you just want to play football for him and just make plays. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. A lot of we put in a lot of good work these last couple months since I got here. Um, it's a lot different than what I experienced my last four years as far as uh, what we do, how we go about our business. So it's been really good. It's exciting with all the guys we got. Um, so I really just come in, try to learn as much as I can, and just uh, keep getting better with these guys every day. What do you feel like the biggest difference is? Um, I'd say just like all the different type of guys we got. Um, a lot of guys we have can do a lot of different things. Um, we got a lot of just really good athletes, explosive playmakers with the ball in their hands. So. Um, it should be fun to kind of see guys do a lot of different things and make big plays. What excites you about, you're talking about the versatility of a couple different guys. Uh, what excites you about that and maybe pushes you a little bit more? Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, 
I think just playing with all these different body types, like you said, all the versatility, um, is just going to make it easier on everybody. You're going to, you know, get to play different positions, run different sort of routes, um, and I'll just kind of get to do different things than I was able to do in my my uh, last four years in Tampa. So just excited to to be in a new offense. I know you've played with a very good quarterback, but mm-hmm. now you've got Desmond Ritter. He yeah. is going to be the starter for the first time in his yeah. career. What have you seen from Desmond so far? No, nah, Des has been great. Uh, he's been awesome. Ton of energy. Um, playmaker can uh, and something we haven't even seen him do too much because it's you know in a practice format seven on seven but his ability to get outside the pocket and makes play uh, create plays extend plays push the ball downfield um, but he's just been a, a really good leader so far just kind of he'll, he'll take us in there and and meet with all the skill guys extra and kind of everyone get on the same page and work through little things that we do on pr- in practice so uh, it's just been fun and then we got you know taylor who's played in the league a long time as well um so they're just really a great combination and logan um a bunch of guys that have been in the league a while and then des the young guy um that has a lot of potential and we think is going to be great this year you mentioned his leadership even though he is young he has said leadership is a component that he holds that yeah he's very proud of yeah Do you see that right away from him absolutely you know first time i met him definitely uh, just the way what he goes about his business um just the relationship he builds with all of us in the locker room off the field um and i think there's i mean obviously you saw the success he had at cincinnati and you don't do that without being a great leader um so I think he's. We're all just really excited for him. First time you met him, what was it like? It was cool. I was uh, I was looking forward to it. I DM'd him when I signed. Just told him I was super excited to play alongside of him. Then I met him in the locker room when I first got here. Uh, just a great dude, and uh, I told him hopefully I can make some big plays for him this year. Okay, last one for me. Um, you know, you've been a part of a team that everyone thought was going to be great and was great. Mm-hmm. Now you're a part of a team that a lot of people don't really know what you guys are going to be. Mm-hmm. You like that? You like the challenge of that? Yeah, I love that. Uh, shoot, I love kind of like being the underdog, that sort of role. No one really expects anything out of us, but that only pushes us to work harder and prove everybody wrong. Um, and I think we got all those type of guys on this team to go out there and, you know, really push ourselves and have a great season. He's great. Yeah, he's a great guy, intense. He's crazy, but those you need, we all crazy sometimes. So, uh, man, no, he's a great coach, man. Um, so far, man, um, I love working with him at this point. Nothing but learning every day. Each and every day we learn. He continues to impress me by the way that he can, he can uh, you know, break things down to us to, for us to understand it. And our individual drills have been nothing but success for us. You know, we're working, working, and working, working, man. And, I, and, I, and I'm liking to be a part of his D-line. Yeah, Arthur was saying it's like, uh, you know, him and, and uh, Dwayne uh, uh, Ledford is like, uh, you know, these two trench guys going at it against each other. So oh, the O-line coach? Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he's looking forward to a training camp when those guys can really start talking. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, no, it'll be, be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun, man. You know, they got guys, we got guys. Uh, you know, they coaches high energy, our coaches high energy. So, man, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a great opportunity for us to go out there and do it, man. Uh, everyone's excited for camp, looking forward to it, uh, hopefully. Um, uh, well, like two more months, we'll start finding out and football season here. Yeah. You know, we talked to you when you first got here and you weren't able to actually do anything on the field with everyone, mm-hmm. but you were impressed with the coaches and, and just what you saw on paper. But now that you've been able to practice a little bit, how has your mind shifted and what you're excited about? Yeah, man, I'm just excited about the group of guys that we have, man. Um, the hard work, you know, Coach Smith, uh, Coach Nielsen, Coach Haas, the guys who I work with, you know, Mario. Everyone is, 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 has high expectations for our group, and uh, they they show that they tell us that it's up to us to go out here and work hard and follow their lead. They're the ones who believe in us to a point, and uh, making sure that we work hard each and every day. So, you know, we gotta we gotta take it upon ourselves and pay them back by going ahead and just working each and every day. You're a veteran, obviously, but you're a new veteran on this team. Yeah. Do you feel like you're already in that veteran role here? Yeah, yeah. They call me aunt. Sometimes they call me aunt. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you like that? Nah, I don't like that. I be, I be feeling like I'm the same age they is, but it's all good. Uh, uh, man, I just you know just take pride in it, man. Uh, being able to teach the younger guys a lot of stuff, which is every time. Um, still learning from other guys who've been on other teams, like David. Um, you know, Calais, of course, yeah. the, the OG, OG, um, Grady. You know, man, just picking pick, picking back and off each other's brains and. Being able to move forward. You said OG, OG. What's it like to have Calais Campbell on your team? Yeah, man. He just—he just one of those guys who you always hear about throughout the league each and every each and every year. Uh, he's probably gonna play for 20 years <laughs> at this point. He's a huge human being, a specimen. <laughs> uh, if you see him, it just—it just, it just looks crazy. It's yeah, it looks crazy. So, 
I mean, I don't know how much longer he's going to play, but he looked like he can play as long as he wants to. So uh, that's the fun part about the game and being able to see guys like that who you watch from before you got to the league and they're still playing after you get to the league. So. Mario was talking about your experience. I mean, you've been part of some good teams, some playoff teams. I mean, just being around this group, is, is that does, does it feel like a team that, that can make that same kind of push? Well, I just speak on guys in general. I know, like, I play with very high-level guys throughout other teams, and these guys are, are super high-level as well. Um, uh, speaking for the D-line, you know, just the ones I'm around a lot. I can see more of the other side eventually um, during camp. But, uh, you know, just to speak on my group because, you know, that's who I'm a part of each and every day. Like, it's here. I play with the Cam Hayward, Jeff Simmons, uh, Stephon it. Um, you know, uh, Danico Autry's. Seeing those, all those guys who, who are high-level players, Javon Hargraves, you know, and uh, comparing them to Grady and um, David Calais, um, man, just and, and, and not to mention the younger guys who are on the team as well. So it's just a part where you see like you see similarities, and you're like, damn, it's, it's dogs all over the league. You just gotta be able to put them in the right position, man. And uh, I feel like this group and this unit is a high-level unit and we're in the very top one in the league.